Health Focus is brought to you by National Medical Stores, NMS. Passionate about your life. Four of every ten people in Uganda are potential patients for heart disease. This, according to Dr. John Omagino, the executive director at the Uganda Heart Institute, is because of predisposing factors like high blood pressure. A survey done in 2016, the study, a quarter of our adult population, both in the rural and the urban area, already have hypertension, which is a bad mate for hand what, a disease. Whether you're a neonate, whether you're a child, whether you're an adult, whether you are an old person, the whole lifestyle, the whole life cycle is affected. The babies are born with congenital heart disease, the younger children get infections and end up with rheumatic heart disease, the older people get uh, ischemic heart disease. All this is what is contributing those numbers. But if you dissect it and break it down, there are figures which are international and you can't change. One percent of every one percent of babies born in any country have heart disease. So for Uganda, we are delivering 1.6 million babies. Yes, per per year, one percent is 16,000 have disease. Our job is to catch them, and 50 percent will require an intervention if they are to live a life which is meaningful or totally corrected. The predisposing factors are now more of lifestyle practices that contribute greatly to a problem statistically tallying up to 1,210 deaths between 2010 and 2016 in Uganda. According to the 2014 Non-Communicable Disease Survey, 33% of the annual, annual deaths are attributed to the five leading non-communicable diseases, which are namely one, cardiovascular diseases, two, cancers, three, diabetes, four, chronic respiratory diseases, five, mental health and substance abuse. Cardiovascular diseases is a major cause of disability and premature death throughout the world. It accounts for about 17.3 million premature deaths and is expected to rise to about 23 million by the year 2030. It is very important, therefore, that the public pays attention to the, to the heart health as it is not limited by age or the social status. Dr. Paul Kasenini, an expert in nutrition, lifestyle and functional medicine, says simple adjustments in feeding and diet can go a long way to keeping oneself healthy. We need to eat foods that are high in fiber. Fiber is a, a part of food that helps to you know, regulate our blood sugar, our blood pressure and our cholesterol level. Fiber is found in natural things like whole maize, like millet, you know, like nuts, like seeds. These are very, very good foods. Um, it's important to eat a lot of vegetables. Green leafy vegetables also have a lot of fiber and they also have a lot of vitamin K which is very good for your heart, and not forgetting fruits. Prevention is basically the way to go, as advised by Dr. Gerard Mutunji, the head of non-communicable diseases at the Ministry of Health. So it's about uh, physical activity, nutrition, uh, uh, alcohol and tobacco, and then physical checkup. The Ministry of Health has further pledged to make diagnosis easier for the public because they want to emphasize the message of prevention being a much cheaper option than cure. Management of NCDs has now been decentralized to health center threes and referral mechanism, mechanisms are in place for those who need specialized management. I'm happy to inform the public that the capacity has been built at the Uganda Art Institute to manage complicated cases that were formerly being referred abroad. Treating ailments from heart disease is quite costly. You may have to spend at least 20 million shillings for a procedure at the Heart Institute, but this could more than double to hundreds of millions for treatment outside the country. Walter MCJ, NTV. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
National Medical Stores, NMS. Passionate about your life with support from the Ministry of Health. Procure, store and distribute essential medicine and medical supplies to all government health facilities in Uganda.